Black Oni. What's up, tubes? It's your boy JBlaze06 here, giving you some commentary over some Destiny gameplay. Playing the Crucible, I'm here with my boy JM Black, uh, Black Billy. Uh, you can actually see his YouTube uh, channel down below. There'll be links to his channel as well as the 1KK. There's a link to his channel. And one of my subscribers actually uh, jumped in in one of my game sessions and he joined the chat but he wasn't really talking so i wasn't really sure why and um you might hear in the background a little bit of my my voice it's because i recorded this using the playstation native app so what you're hearing uh, is a little bit of that backdrop as well so it has my re voice recording in there i might have to turn that off but um overall you know the playstation uh version of voice control isn't terrible uh of video control i should say isn't terrible you can still see that it's not as crisp as if I natively captured it through the Elgato um, directly through the end game as opposed to it being recorded and then saved on the PlayStation. Uh, but what you're seeing right here is us going pretty honey glazed ham on these dudes. And I'm rocking the Shingen uh, shot, uh, assault rifle and a, and a shotgun. I can't remember which shotgun that is, but the one I'm rocking now, this is old footage. The one I'm rocking now is a little bit... Uh, a little bit more intense, a little bit better. It's a it's a blue weapon, so it's definitely a lot more rare than that that green one that I was using there. Uh, but anyway, I'll be giving you guys a breakdown as to the best way to use the hunter, in my opinion, uh, the best loadout, the best weapons, and best tactics to use with the character. You'll see me, you know, we'll you'll see us strategizing around a lot of this stuff. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys today about. Uh, the shitstorm that is Destiny in the reviews that it's it's receiving. So, all right. A lot of major outlets have reviewed the game within its first week of being out, and they usually typically review it around a 60 uh, out of 100 or a 6 out of 10. And, you know, you already know what my idea about review scores is i'm not really a fan of them i don't really agree with them i don't think they are helpful for the industry or for the people making the game ultimately uh and i wanted to use destiny as a good example of that because um i will be the first to tell you that this is a flawed game uh, this is not a perfect game it is missing a lot of pieces to make it complete feel more complete but what is there is a is a solid foundation and what I mean by that is the story is pretty much non-existent right yes. you know the lore there's actual lore there's actual content there but it's not given to you in the actual game so while you're playing through it you don't really have any context as to why you're fighting any of the enemies that you're fighting you just know that you are just aliens to shoot and you're shooting them in the face and that is pretty much it um, and I'm not even exaggerating either. They really don't explain much at all. You kind of have to read about any of the backstory to understand, you know, what, what the, uh, what anything is really. So what, where the tower is, what it is, why people are sanctioned there, what the traveler is, what the fallen are. Like they don't really explain any of that in the actual game. That's a huge problem. Another huge problem about the game, I'm, I'm sure you've already heard a lot of this stuff before already, because a lot of the major outlets have already talked about that. Um, you know, a lot of another one of the major problems is is the way that you interact with people, the way that you interact with other players in the environment and in the world. Um, you can't really interact with them except for doing emoticons and like waving and stuff like that. You can invite them to your fire team, but that involves a couple of steps. You know, you have to go through a couple of processes to get there. Um, and I would say probably the third thing that uh, is really hurting this game is its lack of variety in its missions when you're playing through the game. And all of that stuff, I can attest to it, I can agree with, and I completely understand why a lot of outlets are, are being so critical about that. Because the game, just there was just so much hype about the game. You know, There's so much emphasis on these certain things that actually aren't in the game. And it's very understandable as to why a lot of people are pissed off about it. But here's the thing about this game. What you're getting now is just part of the entire experience. So they, the developers have kind of made it their mission to, to state that there are more things on the way. And 
there are more experiences that people haven't been able to wit- to experience within the first week of the game being out. Even you know certain strike missions be- becoming available and raids raids are haven't become available until uh, this week. Uh, the week that this video is being posted as opposed to the week prior, which is when a lot of the other reviews came out. And you'll notice that a lot of the newer reviews are higher scores than the previous week's reviews. So if you look at GameSpot versus IGN, I believe GameSpot gave it a 6, uh, 6.5 out of 10 or 6.4, and IGN gave it a 7.8 out of 10. Um, again, obviously, the fucking... <laughs> The metrics behind that are just so backwards. It doesn't make any sense why a game would be rated a 7.8 versus a 7.7 or se- like. Come on, get get out of here with that. <clears throat> but I wanted to make the point that the reviews for Destiny, aside from the fact that Destiny is prob- it has broken the records as the the highest selling new IP um, of all time in gaming. Aside from that, there are still people who aren't going to buy this game and aren't buying it because these major outlets and even smaller outlets have been reviewing the game as 6s out of 10s, 5 out of 10s, you know, 7 out of 10s even. If you had asked me what I thought of a game that was a 6 or a 7 out of 10 if I was going to buy it, the most likely my answer would be no because 6 out of 10 implies that it's a it's a D. I mean, it's like when you're in school, a six, a, a sixty out of a hundred is a is a D. Uh, um, no, I think that's even failing. That might be failing in some districts, and that's unacceptable for f- to ask somebody to spend that kind of money on an experience, and and only be getting a D rated experience. But here's the thing, at least in my opinion, this isn't a D rated game. The mechanics that are there, the actual gameplay, you're seeing me play through the environments and play with my friends and going through and strategizing. The Crucible alone is a fantastic experience. And if we were to just judge this game based on just the competitive multiplayer alone up against something like Titanfall, for example, I think the game stands up very well in terms of its addictive gameplay and the ability to customize so many factor facets of your character, it, it's far above anything that Titanfall does. But this game is getting slammed because of the, the promises that it made and the hype that it created for itself. It was a victim to its own hype machine, and that's a, that's a huge problem, but that, to me, doesn't necessarily dictate whether or not you should buy it or not. Because most of those reviews that you have heard or seen, they have all mentioned that this is a game you should probably pick up. And it's it's an enjoyable game. It's fun. Regardless of the fact that it's repetitive and regardless of the fact that the story mode is just horrendous. And aside from the fact that there was just so much overpromise and so many lack of features uh, in terms of the MMO aspects, the game itself is just so much fun to play and so engrossing. And I, I, I can't quite put my finger on exactly what it is if it's the idea of just collecting loot and, and you know, farming enemies and just shooting aliens in the face with your friends and just the the, the quickness and ease of jumping into games with your friends. Um, I, it could just be that, you know. I'm not entirely sure, but I can say definitely, without a doubt, that this game is is definitely worthy of both your time and money because I know just from what I've played already that there's there's more stuff on the way that's already free and then there's more DLC content on the way that will be coming to us very soon. So um, it's hard for me to kind of sit here and, and just let let the media, let people keep saying that this is a shitty game when it's not a shitty game. It's a overpromised game. It's an incomplete game, absolutely. But to, to call it a shitty game or to give it a score that is that low is just... It's a, it's a real shame. And I, I would really hope that a lot of people who are interested in this genre and interested in this style of gameplay are looking at this game and saying, you know, this is... This is I'm not going to listen to what the critics are saying in terms of numeric score. I'm going to listen to their words. I'm going to look at what they're saying. And I've already talked about this before in the past. One of the big reasons why I'm an advocate for not using review scores and my reviews for for Black Oni at all is it detracts and it it distracts people from 
looking at the context of of what's going on with the review and looking at uh, critically looking at how the game is cr designed and created. Look, look at that beautiful ending. Um, you know, I, I, I hope that I've kind of shed a little bit of light on the situation. And there will be an article that goes with this as well that describes that a little bit more. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, press the like button and subscribe to stay tuned to all the stuff going on the Black Oni channel. And as always, I'll catch you guys later. Game on and Jay Blaze out.